Dr. Barry, on a fictional train. As there is and always has been a very thin line between the truth and fiction. And sometimes fiction is called a conspiracy. Or the other way around, the truth is sometimes known as a conspiracy. I'm just going to introduce you to a council. Let's give you an example of how pathetic these people are. Now let's look at it. A council sometimes like to refer to themselves as a local government. Well, they're not. They're nothing more than a body corporate. A department of the state. But they have convinced themselves they've got authority which they do not have. So have a look at these clowns and the mayor is supposed to represent a war. Now, they do not represent people, they represent an area only. But they make decisions that destroy people's lives and we allow them. Remember, we had three referendums. The last one in 99, which said no to give these people any authority whatsoever. Anyway, watch this. I've come in here and I've thoroughly enjoyed every minute by any measure, Monash Gardens and Elizabeth Gardens in Melbourne's leafy east are among the best aged care facilities in the country. We're just one big happy family. We all help each other. I couldn't speak more highly of the way they look after you. In this beautiful, friendly place, you hear it over and over. It is one big happy family. And I'll always remember when Vim, the manageress there, took us around and said, we want you to treat this as a home from home. And that is exactly what it is, a home from home. So, with our ageing population, why on earth would the owners, the Monash City Council, even contemplate selling these magnificent facilities out from under the feet of our most vulnerable senior citizens? It's not their money. They have no right to do this. 81-year-old Frank Jennings has volunteered here for years. After a fall late last year, his dear wife Bron moved in. There are other ways to get money without sacrificing the elderly citizens. Let them have their last few years in peace. Leave us alone. What really stinks about this is the sneaky way the council went about announcing it was thinking of selling. At the end of their June council meeting, they closed the doors and secretly agreed to take expressions of interest. A sale would net them a fortune. There was no consultation. None at all. Before the event. Consultation after the event, but not before the event. Jack Davis heads Ratepayers Victoria. He was once a Monash councillor himself. He thought he'd seen it all, but he reckons this is a new low. That's disgusting. It includes inexperienced Mayor Michaela Dreberg and Jeff Lake, the man Kevin Rudd booted off the ALP ticket at the last election for his foul-mouthed abuse of a disabled woman, probably expected the oldies to just lie down and cop it. The last thing they expected was to go to war. But war is exactly what they got. The council's shame! I tell you what, Jack, this council might have thought these oldies would roll over. They probably weren't expecting a fight like this, were they? I don't know. If they've taken on a good army here, if they don't win today, there won't be a council survives the next council election. Speaking of elections, they had one last year. Des Olin heads the local ratepayers association. Elections were last October. Uh, there was no mandate that this was even thought about, and if it was, I would have been booted out in October. When you ran for election, did you run on a platform of selling off aged care facilities? Potentially seeking expressions of interest for Monash Gardens and Elizabeth Gardens wasn't on the agenda in 2012. It's something that we're considering here and now. Mayor Michaela and I played a little game. It's called Let's Give a Straight Answer. She lost. Would you go to the people, go to an election on this? We've been communicating uh, that we are in the middle of an expression of interest process. I'm not sure what you're answering there, but my question was, would you go to the people on this? We've been speaking and communicating. Or would you wait for an election to get a mandate on this issue? Why not wait and put it to the people? Let the ratepayers decide. We're in the middle of an expression of interest. This is a democratic process. People vote for you based on what you will and won't do for them. We're in the middle of an expression. Okay, I give up. 
The Canis ratepayers could certainly tell us invited us into the meeting. One of the mayor's minions tried to kick us out. The acting CEO had a crack too. That is a decision that has been taken. But people power won the day. We stayed. If you want to ask a question, you put it in writing in advance for approval, then, if you're lucky, you can read it out. Would the Mayor and the councillors please explain... Despite residents' best intentions, question after question was battered down. While some councillors fiddled with their iPads, ratepayers were ignored and fobbed off one by one, supposedly in the name of commercial inconfidence. Mayor Michaela ploughed on like a schoolgirl reading a bad essay, and then... The bombshell. When a ratepayer moved a no confidence motion, these big brave councillors upped and fled their own chamber, scared off by a bunch of octogenarians. Next day, the mayor's head was still firmly in the sand. It's understandable that some of our residents and their families are concerned, and we're doing what we can every step of the way to support them. You took them by surprise. In what way? Well, they didn't know what was happening. Next thing you're taking expressions of interest. We've been communicating with our residents they and say their you families. Haven't. You can stand there and repeat yourself 25,000 times. They say the first they knew about it, you're taking expressions of interest on the place they're living in. Her mother might be old once and wants somewhere to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little trip on the train and I hope you enjoyed looking at those galars pretending to be important. They didn't look very important, did they? Anyway, Welcome back to the Fantasy Train. Dr. Barry signing off and thanks for subscribing. Bye for now.